Hey guys, this is Vivek Bhavishi, aka That API Guy, and this is part 4 of the AI Builder video series. In this video, we'll build a Canvas app to test out the form processing capability of the new AI Builder. Let's get started. So before we build the Canvas app, we will first build the AI model um, so that we can use it in the Canvas app. So we will go to make.powerapps.com um, and you click AI Builder. There's a build option over here. So you click on that and then it shows these four different types of uh, AI models that you can build. So we will, we will build the form processing one. So click on that. We'll name it uh, processing demo and click on create. Okay, so I need at least five examples of a document type. Um, so in this case, we'll be trying to analyze invoices. That's um, a common example that everyone wants to kind of, um, I think a lot of businesses would use that. So we'll try the same thing. So I've created like five invoices already over here. Let's uh, go to invoices. And these are the five different invoices that I want to be created. I'll select those, click on upload five documents. then click close now in my case i did create this invoices online um, so they look pretty much standard um, i didn't get any examples of scanned invoices so if you try it out just let me know how it works out for you in this case all the invoices look exactly the same um, it's just the data is a bit different in each of them so it should be pretty easy to analyze this so we'll click on analyze. Okay, so it has analyzed it now. So we will click on these. Okay, so as you can see, it showed one of the invoices and then the different kinds of fields that it has uh, kind of highlighted. Now I can just click on, uh, I can either click on each of them over here or I can just click on all fields on the right hand side and select what all fields are the ones that I like to have. So we'll do a combination. So we'll take one of these. Uh, that's the from to to whom the invoice is addressed, invoice number, the invoice date, what are the terms of the payment. Um, and then this is the whole table. So it, it has recognized that there is a table of um, the items in the invoice. So we can just click the whole table. Um, and then there's a subtotal, there's a discount, tax, total, balance due. So these are all the different types of fields that I would like to see um, when I scan an invoice next. So now that we have selected these, we can click on done. By the way, if you didn't notice, it's an invoice for power addiction. Um, the only, I would say there is no cure for power addict or power addiction. Uh, the only cure is more power apps and more flow. Okay. So as you can see here, um, it shows, a. Uh, number of sample documents that I added and the different fields that I selected. And then we'll click on train and it will start training the model um, on the background. This might take a while. Actually, it was pretty quick. So the training is complete. We'll go on to the details page. And uh, so it says there are 11 form fields, five documents that I um, kind of submitted. And uh, one thing that you see is it's not published yet. 
So when it says it's not published, as we saw in the object detection demo, um, we can't use this yet. So we can click on publish. And this should publish the demo so that, I mean, publish this model so that we can use it in our demo. Okay, so it has uh, published the, uh, the AI model and it's ready to use in our Canvas app. So let's go to the Canvas app. Um, so this is a blank canvas app. We will start building it from scratch. First thing that you need to do is um, click or insert the form processor control from the AI builder menu. Uh, we will adjust this a bit over here, make it a bit big. And then I had a model already created, but for this demo, we just created this model, so we'll use that, the form processing demo. Click on that, and now um, it's ready to be analyzed. So we'll, um, first we insert some labels so that we can see what kind of results are we getting back. So maybe I want to add a few labels here, uh, invoice number, the invoice, date maybe over here um, to whom the invoice is address to and then um, maybe the the terms of the payment okay so how do I access all those fields so I'll say form processor to dot and if I click on form content, if I select that, then put another dot, um, fields. So there are two basically things that you can use, fields or tables. If you remember the tables was uh, the list of items, the fields will be all the other fields and we'll see that in a moment here. So I'll select fields, again, put a dot and you can see all of the fields that we selected are now available to select over here. So balance due, date, discount, invoice number, um, all those things. So we'll select um, this one was invoice number. So invoice number, this uh, control C, control V and here probably we want who it is addressed to so two and then again this one we'll use the date okay it's just showing blank because we are not analyzed something so let's go ahead and analyze one invoice uh, so that we can see the fields in real time click on analyze select just one of these invoices which I already used for training so this probably is not the best, best example but still so as you can see on the right it was pretty quick as well um, you see the invoice number the uh, invoice date with the who it is addressed to and then we'll add some more flavor here now let me extend this a bit this is the name uh, of the person it was addressed to with the email address um, we want the, the terms of payment here so again we'll use the uh, due on receipt now this okay hmm. That's, I guess this invoice probably didn't have anything like that let's open that invoice um, so this is where um, so I didn't I selected this but I didn't select the terms uh, thing so this was one of the things which it kind of missed out a bit because um, technically when I selected this field it should have recognized that it was related to the terms for invoice number and date 
it recognized that but for this it didn't so there are some there are still some kind of i would say loopholes or something that uh, they're still working on but I, I think it's it's just gonna keep evolving um as uh as a lot of as i mean this is still in preview mode um so let's try some of the other things let's insert a data table before that if you have not already seen this there is uh, an experimental feature to have a, a improved data table control selection so i'll enable that i'll click on insert data table and move this a bit over here and then this the items field we'll again paste the same thing but this are not fields these are the tables there was only one table um so i think it should have taken that okay one more thing table start table zero so that was the, the if there were multiple tables in the invoice it can recognize that as well we just had one table in ours it doesn't show any of the fields by default, but if you click on add field, it will show all the fields. So the first thing that you want to see is description, then uh, the, the price, the quantity and the amount add. All right, there you go. So we've opened the invoice again here. Uh, the invoice had these three items and it, for each of them, the price is same. Um, and then this other, other field. So we will see all those as well. So just to show you over here, this is the description of all of them. And what we'll do is we'll also try to analyze some other invoice here in a second, um, so that, you know, it's showing different things for different items. Okay. Now that we have these, we'll, uh, make it a bit smaller add some more labels uh, one would be for the subtotal or the total then the discount then oops the tax and a subtotal did I catch those two things right? Subtotal, discount, tax, total, and balance due. Okay. I'm not a I'm not an, uh, an expert in accounts, so let's right align them. It just looks a bit better. Make it them a bit smaller. And then uh, let me start putting the variables here. So there you go all right so we captured all those in here now okay so now let's uh, try to analyze some other invoice here so i'll click on analyze oops click on play mode analyze let's select this invoice 0001 and just to show you how that invoice looks it has two items only and i mean while i did that it already analyzed it um so you can see the invoice number the name changed it's some other some power addict instead of another power addict and then again the the two items and the price and all the details so that's uh that's all in this demo um you as you can see it's pretty easy to kind of build the ai model it's it takes much lesser time as well compared to the object detection uh, model, uh, object detection AI model, and uh, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty quick as well to analyze uh, the models compared to the object detection. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't seen the other AI builder videos, uh, the links would be here somewhere, and. Uh, as always, if you have any other feedback or any comments, let us know in the comments area below and uh, subscribe.
subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at that underscore API underscore guy. Thank you for watching.